Welcome back. Refugees living here and in parts of the Middle East are being given laptops and tablets under a project organised by two Irish charities. The Learning Technology for Refugees project, run by the Irish Refugee Council and Concern Worldwide, aims to help the recipients with education, communication and other tasks through the use of technology. Lindy Sele came to Ireland four years ago from South Africa to seek asylum. Since then, she's been living with her family in direct provision. That's meant she's had limited access to technology to help her with her nursing education and communication. Got Word, PowerPoint and Excel. But now she's been given a laptop and training on using it, that's all about to change. It will mean uh, so much to my life because um, not only me, I'm going to benefit from it, but my family is going to benefit. Um, I use the laptop to do research for my assignment. I use it to keep in touch with my family back at home. My son, sometimes he needs to use a laptop for the project that he does at school. Lindy's one of 35 refugees here who's received a device from the Irish Refugee Council under the Learning Technology for Refugees project at the Dublin Office of Consulting Firm Accenture. The project, funded by the non-governmental organisation NetHope, aims to improve the lives of refugees through technology, particularly women. The Irish Human Rights and Equality Commission have recently done a study to say that women in direct provision in Ireland are the most isolated and marginalised group of people in the country. So it's, it's to try and integrate them into society, to try and help them connect to Irish society and the world. But it's not just refugees here in Ireland who are benefiting from this project. The Irish aid agency Concern is also involved and it's bringing over 1,100 tablets to Syrian refugee children in the Middle East. The devices are loaded with educational games and software to support children aged 7 to 14 with language learning online and offline. So many of them have not had a formal education for the past seven years. As we know, that the Syrian war continues to drag on. So we're working with them to provide them that education. Education through the borderless world of technology. Wilgood Body RT News. Now here's the